the world of the deaf is different. It's hard to imagine how they experience the world. There's a huge communication and social barrier between the deaf and the hearing worlds. It would be great if we could break down these barriers so that they can enjoy what we experience. I'm Roland, co-founder of Wika Media. Wika lets people enjoy movies, TV shows, and videos in their own language, including sign language for the deaf and hard of hearing. Partly it's personal because my sister-in-law is deaf, and then I learned subtitles wasn't enough. The mother tongue or the first language of the deaf is sign language. My sister was born profoundly deaf, and, and it was very hard for her to communicate with a lot of, uh, with, with a lot of people, you know, even, even her own teachers. They live in the margins of society. They can't experience what we experience. Uh, many of them cannot go to the movie theater because the movie is not shown with subtitles. So our solution is more about removing that barrier. We're just trying to give the same kind of experience. I want the deaf to be able to go to the cinemas. For sign language, the process is usually we, we record a sign language interpreter as they're watching the particular piece of video with subtitles. And they will interpret it, and then we record that, which we can deliver to other audiences. Sign language is a very visual mode of communication. If you sign without any expression, it is like Life is being very monotonous. But if you put in more expression in your signs, like you can put in an angry tone or a sad tone or a happy feeling, people can see and understand what you are trying to say or the mood that you are trying to express. We develop the smart glass as a private viewing option in cinema. The glass only displays sign language in the corner of the eye, and you can still see through it so that you can see the movie. Today, we invited uh, several members of the deaf community, uh, Singapore Association of the Deaf, as well as teachers and students from Lighthouse. And we wanted to show how quickly we can make that sign language available to the public. Today, I will demo solutions. There are certainly the challenges, especially when you talk to maybe media companies or corporate partners. Some partners, particularly in Singapore, don't think the deaf community is big enough for them to care about. It's tough, it's tough. And I, can't express sometimes the, the difficulty or the darkness that comes with rejection. But you can't wait for things to fall on your lap. You gotta go out there and make things happen. You rejected nine times, but the, that one yes kind of makes up for all the no's. I was lucky to stumble upon Chalipay and US Enterprise Social Innovation Challenge. They're starting to venture into tech for good, social inclusion. They're trying to understand you, but at the same time, they're trying to guide you. Actually, in Alipay, we have something similar. We invited uh, visual impaired people to help us design and develop a function that reads out the Alipay interface. So they can enjoy the convenience of the mobile payment, just like the regular people. During the challenge, we received a lot of valuable feedback. It really encouraged me and reaffirmed that we were on the right track, providing deaf people with equal opportunities. As I met and presented to more deaf people, I got more inspired by that, by their direct reaction. You know, whether they go, wow, and I can feel the excitement, and it just, it's so heartwarming and heart-filling, 
and I feel like that kind of joy and that kind of fulfillment is going to power me beyond the hurdles that I will face. I'm not doing this to save the world. It's really very simple. So it's, it's like a calling and I'm just responding to that call. This is my sister. I think maybe a year before she passed away. My, my sister loved to watch TV. She watched TV all the time. For my sister, it's I just wish she were here to appreciate it, you know, and I think that if she understood more of the story, it, then she would probably have loved it even more.